Insulate in behind. And it's this very same story again, you know, in between the you shouldn't have less than 300 mil. And um, if you have a ventilated facade like here, you don't have to stagger them in the corner. Dave is the expert for external yeah, rendering if you, if of your words going to be rendering this to strength in the corner you would stagger so this board just take that one off <coughs> this one here so would actually would actually have ran in here and this one will be on the outside okay. and you would do the same thing on the external and corner here where you would have one if that was if we were running that way so the one coming this way would be here next one come Good over work. here <coughs> Play block work. Very simple. And the same thing, you get a plan again, a screw plan, and um, you bring them in. You have your batten, and you have your suction screw and your shear screw again. And one little trick, it's actually a question I'm asked most of the time is, how do you finish it then to to the overhang or you know to, at the eave level or so and um, what I like doing is it's actually very simple I, 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 I leave two or three boards a bit loose oh yeah and I bring it in like this and you can do that two, two three guys over a bit of a length and then just kind of plop it in. And you know, that, that way it kind of mm. goes, jumps up into your desired area. Because obviously, if the rafters are coming out there, the last board, you can't lift it. Mm. Can't lift it in. And that works, like, we've done that on <clears throat> 18 meter walls. You know, just have them a bit loose, and then just the last one, click it in. People will tend to try and take the shortcut of taking the groove, the back of the groove here, off so that mm. they can go off this way and in, in like that. Right. But then you've just got a big weakness in, in this joint. And especially if you, you were going on the rendered approach, you can't have that weakness. You need the strength from the TNG, especially when you're not ending on a joist everywhere. So your TNG is crucial to, to, to keep that going. So the shortcuts again always get taken, whereas just a little like Roman showed you, a little trick like that gets you in. And you know, it, it's across all forms of installation, any type of sheeting, same sort of roots. The variation of it is if we cut in between rafters, you know, to have it all the way up, we do, we do pretty much all the time, every mm. time, to meet the roof insulation. Um, I would install, I would exactly measure my line here, install that board in between the rafters first, Cut it all in the mm. underground, put it in, stick mm. a few screws in just temporarily, and then do the same trick here with the two the rows one, yeah. below and just kind of click it in. Uh, and um, that's the that way you get around, yeah. you know, fiddling with them and trying to get every single board in between the rafters and all this. Yeah. Yeah. So you just this, mark yeah, it out, the same thing yeah. cut it. on that first yeah. board, you know. Before you even go near the wall, you, you measure your height. Yeah. You measure your, like, your height, like your boards. Or boring, and you, you, like it's, yeah. it's often we would start, we might only have the first 150 mil of a board, and that mm. might be our starter board. Mm. No, no. And you're, you're trying to address you know, crucial junctions around windows. You know, so yeah. you, you take them into, you know, if you had a window here, so you don't want a joint right here on the window, on the, the top of the corner of the veil. You want a board to span the corner and maybe meet in the middle. Mm. and the same on the other side, and to have it the same at the bottom, because they're the, the, the stress points, and that's what will always crack, that's what leaves in your, your moisture. So again, it's, you're actually, most guys will come along, they plow on the first layer, the second layer, they're flying, next thing they come to all their, their problems when they're up here. Mm. So, you know, just a very simple thing again, measure how high the wall is, and you know, divide it by the, the height of the board. You know, so it's all, again, all very, very simple, laws and simple rules 
and simple instructions. But sometimes it doesn't matter how simple they are.